Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try traditional my new aftershave. So my new aftershave is now released. It's been a while I'm working on it and there are two things that are really interesting. It's the smell and the property behind it. And before I go really into it, I need to tell you a little bit more about alcohol-based aftershave and why I did an alcohol-based aftershave and not cream-based aftershave. And the reason is not that it's easier or anything, it's actually think it's better. And there are many reasons I will not go into why an aftershave that is alcohol-based is better in like all the details or everything because I already did a video on this, but specifically what makes it better is the property that alcohol has and basically an aftershave is not just like to hydrate your skin or something like that the main purpose of an aftershave is to kill all the germs because when you shave it kind of it, it kind of do little cuts or like little parts of your skin and an infection can occur if you don't put anything and a good example of that is when you have little buttons over here I know me I make, I'm doing a lot of those little button often and those little buttons are not skin irritation in reality they are an infection it's just that it's really not a super big infection and your body is really easily able to fight it off but it still make those little buttons and it's not nice to have those little buttons. And alcohol based aftershave simply will kill everything that has to be killed to prevent any infections. And therefore those little buttons. My aftershave differentiate from all the other ones is that usually those aftershave they will use some uh, like some stuff to help your skin a little bit but they won't put that many stuff that's good for your skin. Usually they will put glycerin and that's about it and me i'm putting a lot more stuff also to cut the harshness of the alcohol sting what they will do usually is that they will cut it with water which work a little bit but not fully and also water is way cheaper than everything else in the aftershave but it's still kind of important to cut it with something so to use water because it's cheap and water it's not necessarily good at anything on your skin it's just water and me instead I'm putting a lot of other stuff that are better and mostly vitamin E and coconut oil and there's a lot of coconut oil inside of this it's still an alcohol based aftershave but it, there's a lot of coconut oil inside of it now for the smell and the smell what I did is I had a lot more than this, I just gave a lot of it away. I made an eau de toilette concentration without all the additive to really smell well on the paper. But basically this is an aftershave concentration, which is about 1% of fragrance material. And it's like that in pretty much every aftershave. Usually, in fact, it's even less than that. And 1% of concentration is actually an eau fraiche concentration. First thing I'm picking up, it's patchouli. There's a lot of patchouli and that's a big part of the smell. I'm picking up some green notes, picking up some lavender. I'm picking up some mossy and tobacco-y woody notes. And that's about it. And on my skin, what I'm picking up, when I put it as an aftershave, it's really the patchouli that's really intense with a bit of lavender. When I spray it as a perfume, and I haven't told it yet, but uh, I plan to make an eau de parfum with exactly the same smell, just in different packaging. And when I wear it on my skin, what I'm picking up is that patchouli and lavender that's really intense. I'm picking up a little bit of bergamot, and on my skin I also pick a little bit of coconut inside of it. Then when I put it like in my skin, like it's perfume in the dry down, it turns into a really powdery fragrance. It's really more of a barbershop fragrance, in fact. And there's a note of ambergris that's also present and patchouli. For the complete note breakdown, top notes are bergamot, 
coconut, green notes, and lavender. Heart notes are powdery note, tobacco, orris, and violet. And the base notes are ambergris, patchouli, tree moss, and woody note. And as a fragrance by itself, just for the smell, it's a business fragrance. It's really made as a business fragrance, both as an aftershade, it will still smell a little bit on you, and also as an eau de parfum when it will be released. It's made especially as a business fragrance. I traditional mean traditional, as you can imagine. And it's that kind of old school barbershop, lavender, patchouli kind of fragrance. In, and it's really made for someone that wears a suit that's a bit classic, that like classic stuff. Everyone that I made it smell, they really love it. So I would say that it might be a good dating fragrance, but it's not made for that. Maybe if you're older and you're still wearing that kind of fragrance, if you were maybe teenager or even adult in the 70s, that might be the kind of fragrance that you would wear as a dating perfume uh, because it's barbershop fragrance and that was a kind of style of that era but I don't think it's really made for that purpose in the summer winter spectrum I think it falls in between it's neither good for summer or good for winter but it's not bad for summer or bad for winter either it's just neutral for both of them and as an everyday scent that can be a good everyday scent too it smells for a long time there's a lot of patchouli that smells a long time and also it's nice people enjoy it and it's different from what is released in these days but it's still not something that is shocking to people it's enjoyable so for an everyday percent it could be good too so i hope you enjoyed this video if it's okay well like and share if you're interested to get this perfume and this or this aftershave go in my uh, description and you will see the link to get it so, thanks for watching, and see you soon.